have no spur to prick the sides of my intent. Just vaulting ambition which o leaps itself and falls on the other. He has almost supped. Why have you left the chamber? Have he asked for me? No, you not he has. We will proceed no further in this business. He hath honoured me of late, and I've bought golden opinions from all sorts of people which should be worn now in their newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. Was the hope drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Hath it slept since? And wakes it now to look so green and pale at what it did so freely? From this time such I account thy love. Art thou afeard to be the same in thine own act and valour as thou art in desire? Wouldst thou have that which thou esteems the ornament of life, and live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I dare not wait upon I would, like the poor cat ere the adage? Prithee, peace! I dare do all that may become a man, who dares do more is none. What beast was then that made you break this enterprise to me? When you just do it, then you are a man, and to be more than what you were, you would be so much more than man. Nor time nor place did then adhere, and yet you would make both. They have made themselves, and that their fitness now does unmake you. I have given suck, and know how tender it is to love the babe that milks me. I would, while it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from his boneless gums and dashed the brains out had I so sworn as you have done to this. We should fail. We fail. Screw your courage to the sticking place and we will fail. When Duncan is asleep, or to the rather shall he stay his hard journey soundly invite him. His two chamberlains lie with wine and wassail convinced that memory, the water of the brain, shall be a fume, and their seat of reason will limb back only. When in swine sleep their drenched nature lies in a death, what cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? What not put upon his spongy officers, who shall bear the guilt of our great quell? Bring forth men, children only, for thy undaunted metal should compose nothing but males. Well, it will not be received when we have marked with the blood those sleepy two of his own chamber and use the very daggers at their time. Who dares receive it other? As we shall make our griefs and clamour roar upon his death. I'm settled. And bend up each corporal agent to this terrible fate. Away. Not the time would fairer show. False face must hide, but a false heart doth know.